but it could be that <laughs> you are destined. You, just... you are destined to fail in that thing. So, are you are you now saying that there are people in life yeah. who have their destinies set out for them? Yes, I believe so. I believe so. I don't agree. I believe so. I I do not agree. I like, think in, in, I think first, I think we all have read. a free will. What's up, guys? Welcome to yet another episode on FNF Catchy Dialogues. Woo! Your favorite podcast in the whole wide world. Your number one. Take it or leave it. Yeah. To all our returning subscribers, we want to say a big thank you. And if this is the first time you're watching us, please do well to subscribe and click on the notification icon so that as soon as content drops, you're the, the first, first to receive it. Yeah. Yes. And don't forget to tell someone about FNF Catchy Dialogues. Absolutely. Just share our videos to anyone, your pastor, your church members, your mom, your dad, anyone. <laughs> yeah. Your baby. Make sure your baby watch that instead of yeah. Nickelodeon. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Brother, what do we have today? Bro. Yeah. So today we are going to discuss a tweet mm. on X. Yeah. And... This is something that we've we've not thought about. I don't think people have reflected so much on it. Yeah. But we're going to do justice to the tweet today. Cool. What is the saddest truth about life? What is the saddest truth about life to you? To me, I think not everyone was born to succeed. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And to me, no matter who you are, you one day get broken hearts. You don't cast. Last, last. Now everybody go <laughs> jog very fast. Shy you. <laughs> what's what's the saddest truth about life to you, guys? Post in the comment section and we'll read that in our, our next video. All right. We'll give cool. you a shout out. So let's get right into the comments. Yes. So what do you have there? Well, so the first saddest truth about life from this person says that. We all struggle like we are going to make it out alive. Like, life is like a maze. Everybody's running, just going through it. You know, you sleep, you wake up, just the same routine. Yeah. Going to work, trying to succeed. But eventually, this person is saying that not everyone will make it out alive. There are people who are living but are actually dead. Yeah, that is actually very yeah. true. And it's a very sad truth. Yeah. Yeah, the low yeah. people walking out there who are dead inside yeah but are just walking yeah you know with lifeless bodies it's, literally it's, it's yeah yeah it's, that, it's, that it's the truth you see sad. someone and the person is just a shadow of him or herself yeah and, and it's not everyone will make it out alive yeah it is what it is what have and you got this one says some people were born poor and still die poor that's very unfair and i think this is what i just mentioned earlier yeah. like it's, not everyone is born to no, succeed. Um, no. I think it's just the way life is. The Bible says it, and I think we'll discuss that sooner or later. Yeah. That the Lord created the rich and he created the poor. So I'm trying to understand that are people meant to definitely remain poor for the rest of their life, no matter how hard they try, no matter the amount of money they win in the lottery, they'll still become poor eventually. God, we'll leave this one for you to come and answer because it's mind-blowing how you see some people work very hard, yes. but still. Yes. Hard, hard work doesn't guarantee success. And that is very true. I remember sharing the last time with you that I met this old man. I suppose that he'll be around his mid-70s mm -hmm. or probably late 60s. And he was a bus conductor back in Ghana. That wow. Was, that was the, the time that I told myself, no, I have to take certain decisions. So I wouldn't say that it's a wrong choice of job in a way because people are making out a living out of it. But at his age, when he should have retired, life is, be resting somewhere. Life is very unfair, brother. Because like you rightly said, at his age, 60 to 70 years, mm -hmm. in an ideal world, he should have retired 
sitting home, have his grandchildren surrounding him, having his children coming in and go out, just probably has diabetes and hypertension, enjoying life and waiting to die. Of course. Probably life dealt him the wrong cards, I would say. Or it could be life choices. It could be it could be anything. It's it's just crazy. Anyways. Yeah, guys, we'll just we'll just move on to the the the, the next comments. This one says, Ooh, life is unfair. Nobody owns you a dime. Fact. Fact, brother. Bass, my nigga. That is that is point on. Nobody owes you a dime. Like no, nobody <laughs> owes you an explanation. Nobody owes you a gift. See, the earlier we realize this particular truth yeah. that no one owes you a dime, no one really cares. You you are you're responsible for your own life choices. Yes. The better. Yeah. Do you know? I read this somewhere and it says that in life, there's always the victor and the victim. You are you are either one of them. If you allow yourself, you become the victim to the other person. Absolutely. Everybody wants to come out as the victor. Absolutely. Nobody is going to sacrifice him or her life for you. Not even your parents. To some extent. Of course. To some extent, they have to think about themselves first. Guys. So, <laughs> no, you know, that sense of entitlement, I think that is what has kept so many people down from pursuing their dreams. Absolutely. They think that this person, my uncle, my, my brother, my sister, my mom, my dad, is the one who is supposed to push me there. No. You owe life to yourself only. You owe an explanation to yourself only. Satisfy yourself first. Be faithful to yourself first. Mm -hmm. And then any any other thing follows. No. Exactly. So self-love. Yeah. The most important thing. You need to make sure that you are putting yourself first in everything. Prioritize your health. Prioritize your life goals. Travel the world. Do... Do amazing things. Take just, stuff off your just, bucket just list. Just live, live life. Just live life. The people you allow into your life are not the ones who should determine. Yeah, your, what your, you can and what you can yes. do. Allow them because they are going to add a bit of value. They are not going to shape your destiny or they are not going to decide where you go in life. They add value to your life. You learn from them. You add value to theirs. But they shouldn't be a stumbling block or a hindrance to your success. Yeah. And nobody is is there or nobody was created for the purpose of getting you to that high. They are destiny helpers, but without destiny helpers, just put it in your mind that you can still make it. Absolutely. And, yeah. I, I completely like nobody owes you a dime. You no. need to make sure that you're responsible for your own life, your yeah. own actions and inactions, yeah. and pursue your dreams. Make sure that you are exhausting every available resource yes. to become the person you want to yes. be. Definitely, you need help along the way, yes. but no one really owes you that no, help. No, no, not even your parents, no. not even your friends. Guy, let's move on. Yeah, <laughs> it's so. It's, I've I've got yeah. this one here that says that as much as a person laughs, mm. as much as someone loves you, yeah, they would never willingly die with you or get buried with you. With or without you, life goes on. Just, just, just in relation to the exactly, one we just this, read. this is the same thing we were literally talking about. Like, you die one minute, the next minute we are moving on. We're like, moving we on. are moving. We'll weep. Probably some of the guys, maybe that'll be the first time we'll actually get very drunk and then... Yeah, yeah. and then that's it. The next morning, we'll have a we'll big, carry, we'll carry a big coffee bowl in. of porridge yeah. with some bakings and sausages. We're like, oh... So you are dead. We are enjoying life. Like, we we'll do that bonyo party. As you. <laughs> yeah, and, and I mean, even take take your job for instance. Yes. I mean, people work non-stop, back to back, trying to chase the bag. Yes. As soon as you drop dead, yes. the next week, they are interviewing for your replacement. President Mills died and that day. That same day, someone another was president yes. was sworn in. Yes. No, guys, let's... Like, it's very sad. Yeah. Now that you think of it, like, you're working so hard trying to meet targets at work, yes. trying to satisfy your family, trying to have a stable, juggling all these things. Yes. And then you realize that as soon as you're dead, life goes on. Do you know, do you know why it's so that sometimes people want to be so faithful and so honest to other people and not themselves? Yeah. And laugh, people sacrifice 
crazy things just to make the other person content at the expense of their own joy and their own happiness it's 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 not necessary you do that at your own peril if if you, you think there's a line you want to toe but i i'll always say that be faithful to yourself first if you can love yourself if you can be faithful to yourself first you can't be faithful to any other person Absolutely. it will just be something very transient and it won't last you can't sustain it yeah yeah the person that you are sacrificing your whole life for because of love when you die today the person will get another girlfriend or another boyfriend of course of course the job you are scared to leave because you are you are wondering what they say they will, they will think that i left and i wasn't faithful to the job i wasn't honest i wasn't sincere the day you get sick somebody will be employed of course and you lose no, that job even even in in, in um during the when we were doing clinical stuff and yeah. all that if you miss your shift because you're sick they Somebody's just call called. the bank staff someone comes in like we don't even care seconds seconds they, it's just a phone call we get yeah. a replacement for you for the shift and yes. that's it yeah. guys prioritize yourselves though like put yourself first no one really owes you anything you're responsible for your own failures and successes. I'm faithful to myself first. Myself first. Yeah. Myself first. And then any other thing follows. Um, I'll read this one. You can do everything right and still not make it. <laughs> <laughs> now, this, like, you can do everything, everything. right and you would still it's not make it. It's it's true. To it's true. Yeah. It's true. Have you not done something that you think you you thought that this is definitely going to end well or this is definitely going to go this way. But midway you realize that no matter how hard I try, no matter how hard you have a relationship that you were trying to maintain. You love this lady so much. Yeah. Invested everything. Thought it was going to work. Thought it was going to lead to marriage. But no matter the effort, the, the amount of money, the love, the dedication, you can lie down and let her work on you. It still wouldn't work. Has it not happened to you before? It's, it's, it's mind-blowing. Yeah. Like you would work so hard for something. The very things that you see your other mates yeah. doing, yeah. you were doing even better. Yeah. But still. You, you won't be successful at it. It's it's with everything, investment, but anything, anything. Could, could it be that you think you are doing the right thing, but you're actually doing the wrong thing? Could it be that? It, there's a point in there. But it could be that <laughs> you, are destined, <laughs> you, just, you are destined to fail in that thing. So are you, are you now saying that there are people in life yeah. who have their destinies set out for them? Yes, I believe so. I believe so. I don't agree. I believe so. I, I do not agree. I like, think in, in, I in think first, I think we all have a read, free will. In the first post we read, you said that there are people that would not make it out of the trenches. It's 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 Life like is that. Unfair in that way. Yeah. But I think even if you're born in the trenches, you can still you make. can still make you can still make it out. So you, you don't believe that out. those who don't make it out of the trenches, which you agree, they they are not making it because it's destiny but you think it's because their free will they didn't put them in that line of all their actions or their decisions made exactly. them stay in the trenches exactly we'll, we'll have to d talk about this extensively yeah we will we yeah. will and i think we we should talk about this in, in, in our next video in, guys in, watch in, out in we'll, 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 uh, we'll discuss yeah. in the next episode. whether success or failure in life or in anything you do it's predestined it's as a or, result of destiny yeah, or, free or you will, will have your free or actions will. yeah yeah exactly so guys leave your thoughts in the comments um what you think are the saddest truths of our life do well to leave them in the comment and we'll read out probably in the next episode before we start the actual yes discussion yeah yes. so this has yet been another episode of your favorite podcast thank you so much for joining today's thank session you so much yeah, yeah. We, we really do appreciate and do well to subscribe share the news and until we meet you in the next episode to discuss whether everyone was born to succeed. I, no. I, I, I believe we all have our free will. We have Bro. our free will to be able to mend or adjust our destinies. 
I think that has to do with the supernatural aspect. The physical controls to an extent, but I believe that whatever appears physically had already manifested spiritually. And that is where destiny plays. Guys, we'll see you on the next episode to continue on this. Peace out. Peace.